How did Josh Was there anything to make you go wild with Rosen today? No, I just know that. <laughs> yeah. Which one was he? Which number was he? <laughs> no, I mean, he, he did a nice job, obviously, of course. And it, it was, uh, you know, to be honest with you, I was, I was, I'm not a nervous guy, but I actually was a little nervous going into this one because I had never called a game for him before. You know, so uh, it was kind of, it was, it was kind of funny, really. We had a feel for things. And, they, you know, communicated with me through the whole game on things he was seeing and what he wanted. And uh, you know, the guys around him, I think, did a, did a really nice job. Um, you know, I thought the protection was really good for him today. I thought the whole line did a super job. The receivers were, um, you know, being where they're supposed to be. So, you know, I think it was a it was a good first step for us as an offense, and hopefully we can correct some of the red zone errors. I got a little, you know, I wasn't happy with some. Most of it was my fault. But with uh, us not finishing drives a couple of times, but we'll get that right. Is there anything you learned about Josh today? Um, yeah, just make sure he's in the huddle when we play. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you've been around football, I mean, it's one thing to see it at practice, but it's another thing for a true freshman to come in in this setting. If you, can you just kind of describe that, what it was like, what he did today? Um, you know, that's and that's a real good football team. We play big physical guys. You know, I've known Tanuta for a long time. And, I, mean, I always I feel like he's one of the top coordinators in the country. So I knew that they were going to put pressure on him. I, you know, from this, from I, I really didn't know how John was going to play us when we started the game. And then to me, it seemed like he was going to make Josh, you know, make some plays because he, he pretty much stacked the box on us and was going to take Perkins out of the game, and, you know, and, and not let us just line up and run the ball on him. And uh, I thought Josh really you know, stepped up to that challenge of making some plays down the field with. What was behind the thinking of going deep on the very first, his very first play as a college I figured player? I'd get it out of the way, all right? Everybody in the stands would be happy, at least for one series, because I threw it deep, and I didn't throw a bubble screen, right? Yeah, that's right. <laughs> and the pair sales would go up. <laughs> but is that, 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 that sort of kind of confidence you have in him that you just have to watch him? Yeah, I told, I told him, I said, I'm not going to make I, I said, this is your first play in the Rose Bowl. I don't think it ought to be a man in the office. You know, and so that was kind of the game plan. We were, you know, and it, it was like it was like Maxwell Smart, right? Missed it by that much. You know, um, it was a good throw, and I think the kid kind of tipped it. I, I'm not sure, but Kenny said that the, the DB just got a little finger on it and kind of kind of turned the ball a little bit on Kenny. Or I think he was. When did you decide to call that play? Um, I actually decided that probably uh, August 4th they went to camp. <laughs> and I was going to go deep on the first one. Yeah. Coach, in, in training camp, Josh doesn't take any hits. Did he surprise you with his pocket presence today and just moving up? And last year, these guys sacked five Well, times. you know, there's always that because, you know, that's, you know, they wear yellow jerseys through 20-some practices and nobody touches them. And now all of a sudden, they don't have yellow jerseys on anymore in the game. And so you know, yeah, that's kind of in the back of your back of your head. But I really, he had, he's got such a great feel of sliding in the pocket, um, and he took some shots today. Got the ball off uh, the, the one throw, to the, the touchdown to TD. I think he took a pretty good shot, held the ball. Kenny Clark too. And Kenny Clark, yeah, held the ball and got it out and took the hit. But uh, no, I mean, you know, you just was I worried about it? No, I wasn't worried about it. He's facing that rush. It seems like he keeps his eyes up really well. Is that something that's learned over time, or has he done that naturally? Um, I don't know. I, I, I don't think it's learned over time because he's only 18 years old. And that's his first game, so I just think he's got. He's, you know, what you know what Josh Josh has. You know, this is one game. You know, I mean, you know, this is a great this is a great foundation for for our offense and for Josh to build off of. But he's got some of those innate qualities that the really good ones have. You know, the ability to slide in the pocket, and make plays, keep his eyes down the field, throw guys open. Type of things. And he's he's always he is showing that since he's been here. So that's just something that the good Lord decided to give him, not me. Was he allowed to check off plays? Did he? No. I don't let those guys check off plays. <laughs> yeah, every once in a while he does, but he had didn't do much to do. When you're when it's a tempo offense, we really don't want to slow the game down and have him do that. Now there's some circumstances. Uh, but today I don't think he had too much. Um, he had he had he had some really good suggestions in between series. That, I, that gave me a really big clue today. This guy, he, he, 
Josh has always Josh always has had a really good wide vision of the game, and so you know he he, he sees things out there, and so that's really nice to have a guy come off off and tell you what he's seeing, and you know okay, here's what we need to do. Cole Perkins didn't have a particularly heavy load today. How much of that had to do with your guys' game plan compared to how well Josh? Well, Paul's played? always fit in our game plan. Right? He's one of the top running backs in the country. I think I think if it figured that that figured more into, into into their game plan that they weren't going to let it get hurt by him. You know, um, I don't know. We ended up rushing for a couple you know, hundred and some yards or whatever, but uh, um, just just kind of how the game was going. They were they were you know, they were kind of stacking the box a little bit on us, and you know, they were kind of daring us to <clears throat> say, "Okay, you guys have to throw the ball a little bit because you're not just going to line up and run on us." All right, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you.